Oi, oi, hi everyone, I'm Will from Will's Electrical Services, also known as the Michael Essen of the Electrical World, just doing bits. In tonight's episode, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you of kind of what I do, like how I run my company, how I do little bits and bobs, because in the evening, if we've got remedial work, so sometimes I usually come here, I usually do it on a Monday when I'm usually have an office day, I collect all the materials together, get it all ready, get it all prepped, you know, make sure if there's any special deliveries that they're all come in place, like this one, we kind of got let down a little bit by the wholesale, as I say let down, it's not really that big a deal, I'll explain it when we get to it. But yeah, and I just want to show you, and I'll give you a couple of observations of what we do. I can't go too much in depth into the uh, certificate, uh, sorry, into the report, but I will show you bits and bobs and explain my ideas, my what, how I do things and all that, and I'll hopefully give you a couple of tips of how we do things and all that. Like the first, the first one is a, uh, I think it's a, the first observation, I'll just put it in front of me, I don't want to read it too much. The first one is to cook a circuit is on a 6mm on a, uh, a B40 MCB. It looks like it's enclosed in the wall, so I'll take that as reference. Uh, the maximum for a 6mm twin and earth is 32 amps, and it's on a 40 amp breaker. It's a 7 kilowatt, so we're going uh, we're gonna to downgrade it to a 32 amp. Uh, overload you know so that I'm satisfied that that will uh, we will rectify that issue with that the second one is uh, one, one of the second ones is is that these are these uh, sockets I'll show, I'll show you a photo on the uh, I'll tell you. this is a rental property it's not in the best nick you know what I mean it's it's okay but you know I asked if they wanted these sockets changed to white because it's two sockets on their own in a kitchen so it doesn't really matter because the ones in the pictures are flat prey, nickel, chrome and these ones are, well I, I don't think they are, no they're not, they're just the normal uh, Skarmore Deco, I love this Skarmore Deco stuff, it's, it's, I used to be BG, I used to use BG all the time like for the metal stuff because obviously I'm a Hager man you know I've obviously done a video on it, I'll put it up there but um I'm quite a good fan. Of it. I'm quite a big fan of that. But the actual wholesalers were going to get me Knightsbridge because I gave him the image, and the guy at the wholesalers is awesome at like matching stuff and all that. He's he's quite knowledgeable. He's worked in quite a few of the different warehouses, so he's obviously you know been 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 in the wars with it all and all that. So yeah, what we're going to do is one side of the socket doesn't work, so we're just going to change both of them. They're next to each other. I'll show you the images of both of them. Right, the next one, the next one which I'll show you, living room and kitchen, no fire hoods fitted with open back down lights in ground floor with rooms above. Regulation two, uh, sorry, 527-1-2, no, 10 of them to be changed. Fire rated white bezels, I've actually got the metal bezels, but just really because of their satin chrome ones in there. They're the square ones, they look really awful. But one of them, I'll show you the images of them. Like, uh, obviously we've got that, we've got unsatisfactory connections. One of them is an absolute prime candidate that's actually in this one. The electrical insulation condition report, classification codes for domestic and similar electrical insulations. This is blinding. Every time we do a report, we just attach it to every single one. Going back to it, we always attach this. This is absolutely blinding as well. And when we do our reports, we take photos of absolutely everything. You know, we try to get a photo image, you know, because it's the same as self. It's like you see a lot of these uh, people doing these reports, you know, and they're, they're doing them for really cheap and sent like uh, these reports, you know, to do quotes off and all that. And they're absolutely garbage, you know what I mean? It's just like you just look in the comments, the observation section and all that and they just say no RCDs, you know, nothing to do with like, you know, sockets for general use, sockets used outside, you know, cables in walls, you know, like uh, absence of RCD protection for cables buried 50 mil or less within a wiring zone, you know, I, I've, even like uh, RCD for light fittings because obviously in a domestic they have to be, you know, I mean, that's a minimum requirement and just stuff like that, you know, it's just, it's comical how, how they do it, but yeah, right, so we're going back onto it. So yeah, what I usually use is these Aurora ones, and I absolutely love them. When it comes to down lights, it don't matter if it's a new install, new install or repairing these, where they could be anything, you know. We could, you know, we've, we've got no, 
I will always use can and that because I don't see, really see the point of the integrated ones really. I don't know if you've seen these, I was quite surprised really because like obviously Aurora is from Wellington Garden City which is like, uh, I actually done my college course in, uh, my, I've done my third year in Wellington because Stevenage College shut down and uh, they're actually based in Wellington and so I, obviously they're a massive firm, like they do loads of awesome writing and all that but I thought they were major players in the electrical scene and all that but a few of the wholesalers and all that said like you know they're not they're not they're not the biggest around the country you know like obviously you've got Collingwood you've got all these other companies and all that you know but I I don't know why I've always just liked the Aurora, Aurora lights the Canon lights you know like especially these ones they come with a quick fix uh, connections you know it's kind of it's so you could do it so rapid you just put them in there I've obviously emptied this one like that's what I'm up here to do is to what I like to do is get so prepared is that I will make them all up like this so I don't have to do it on the site because there's 21 of them and it's quite a lot of card that probably be a, a, like a rubble sack full of cards so and then I just put them back in there and then when we go to the site we second fix them and then you like you you clip them onto there they, they go like that and then they click in you know they're absolutely awesome but I like them and what I like about them is that underneath you just take the lamp out I've just I've actually got the Aurora ones. I used to use Osram, but I had a bit of problem with Osram, so now we've just gone to the Aurora. Every single downlight we ever put in are always dimmable, just in case at the end someone says, oh, they want it dimmable, you know. And I think, I think to be fair, I think Grant and Stone Stevenage, the actual wholesaler I'm using at the moment, I think they only stock dimmable GU10 lamps as well, so it makes sense, doesn't it? You know, what else have we got? Um, and also, we've got rear of house sockets, the uh, circuit protective conductors for the ring final circuit, no resistance measured between conductors, loose connection, might possible loose connection, fault finding. So yeah, what we've got with this is what I usually do is I'll put the photos up. I do this every single time and you're probably looking at it and you think, well, you should be doing that at the fuse board, but there is a reason I do it at the fuse board because I'm sending this to my customers them rather than getting confused at what they're looking at, I try to do it. It's just where Ollie's usually standing there and I'm usually there with the iPad just taking photos because it makes it a little bit more simple because when we've done it before and we've actually taken the photos at the fuse board, it just confuses the life out of, uh, it confuses the life out of the, um, the landlords. Plus it just opens so many questions, you know what I mean? It's just painful. So I just, it's just a tactic that I use and it works well for us, you know. And I put, as I say, I put the photos up, because how else are you gonna do it? You know, like this particular observation is so, I, I find it so common, we usually, if we do 10 tests a, tests a week, we usually find six of them, six of the houses will have this issue, you know what I mean? And what it always is, is we just go around to each shop until we find it. We don't carry out the remedial works whilst we're there, because usually we're booked in for, well, I do a maximum of two tests a day. That's how we do it. So what I do is I'll give you a couple of tips as well of how we do the downlights as well, because these particular ones, where they've got the open ones in, I believe they have got the actual 50 mil holes. I carry all the hole saws in there. We always use a date. I just wanted to show you this. I just wanted to show you this. Yes, yeah, so basically what I usually carry is I carry, well, I've got absolutely loads of these, but these are the two different types I've got. You've got one with a short little shaft there for the arbor, and you've also got like a probably 11 mil, I think they're called. They're, they're nothing rare, they're nothing special, they're not an extra product, they're nothing new, they've been around all, all ever since I've been doing them. But what these longer ones are for, they're for two different blades. They are slightly marketed differently now, just because obviously people didn't realize what they were doing. But you can fit two blades on this one. And obviously where you've got the open back ones, they're 50 mil hole, that goes in there, that fits in there perfectly. That uses that as a guide to put the date on there. It works absolutely perfect every single time. I've got all the different sizes, so I'm not over concerned. Also what I have got as well, is I've got a block of wood in the van, I ain't gonna go get it, but basically it's the same size as that. And if, if I do, if you get lava plaster ones where obviously it moves around, you literally just screw the bit of wood up on the ceiling, put that in, use that as a guide, you know, and it works perfectly every single time. It's immaculate, you know, and, and that's how we do it. So right, anyway, what I'll do is I'm gonna unpack all this, then I'll show you before I go, and then I might show you a couple of completed of the, uh, 
of the remedial works. But yeah, that's basically what I do, and I just get it all ready. Because of the amount of work it creates is 21, all, all the things, I'm gonna open them all here, put them in, put them all back in these bags, so that these bags eventually become dog poo bags for mine. Because obviously I'm quite big in recycling, like I, I, I would usually take this all down to uh, the cardboard, uh, cardboard banks down at these supermarkets and all that. But at the moment, I just take them to, uh, one of my friends has got a, uh, a warehouse where he's got one of them cardboard compactors. So we just put it all in there because what I like to do my bit because there is a hell of a lot of cardboard that goes into the electrical waste, isn't there? But it is what it is, I suppose. Anyway, right, anyway, I think that's us done for another video. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick little demonstration of how I do bits and bobs and how I prepare things and how we do our paperwork and our observations. Oh, anyway, that's me done for another video. I hope you got a little bit of sink out of it. And if you're going to be anything, then be electric up the old blues. Oi, 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 oi.